Hi guys, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching me, depending on your time zone. Again, I still wish you a happy Mashuja day. Now, if the deputy president William Samoy Ruto could have been deeply in President Uhuru Kenyatta's government, then he come outside there campaigning for himself as the person to take over power from President Uhuru Kenyatta in 2022. Then I'm certain that one William Samoy Ruto could have been the most hated candidate among all those individuals who will appear on ballot seeking for the presidency. But William Samoy Ruto is getting some level of popularism outside here, especially from Mount Kenya region, Rift Valley, where he come from, because they have to support him, then generally from other areas because he's trying to dish out some cash. This popularism is getting is simply because, number one, he has distanced himself from Jubilee government. All the failures he's not taking. And number two, the money is trying to use outside there. The reason why I'm saying this is simple. During 2017 general election and part of 2013, William Samoy Ruto is one individual who promised more than what President Uru Kenyatta promised. Then when it comes to delivery, they have delivered less than what Kenyans, uh, Kenyans anticipated from these guys. <laughs> now, like yesterday when William Samoy Ruto was doing a roundup of his coastal region tour, there are some things he mentioned. And in his view, now William Samoy Ruto is trying something new. Ruto is trying to brand the ODM leader Raila Molodinga as the government project. I want you to listen to him shortly, then I'm going to explain this after this video. Gakura mbaka tukaunda serekali. Imekosekana mutu ya kuweza kuwa rais mpaka tuende tukodeshe mutu ya kitendawili ati awe candidate ya serekali. Kweli. Ani nataka ni waulize nyinyi watu wa mpeketoni kwa sababu hata mimi nashindwa kuelewa hii maneno. Yaani wale jamaa walienda kuvunja chama ya jubilee ati ndio tukose mpango. Alafu wamemaliza kuvunja chama ya jubilee ati sasa wanataka twende ati tukodeshe mtu ya kitendawili. Mnakubali mambo ya project tuletewe project ati hii ni project. Hiyo watu hapana sio maneno hapana. Eh. Sawa sawa. Tuko pamoja. Now we want to check into the strategy that William Samoy Ruto is trying to use here if Kenyans are going to buy into that but before we go deep into it a quick reminder you might be watching me and you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing so that any other time once we come out with a video like this one you will always get notified again to all the channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again let give let us give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube is going to recommend our video to more viewers now back to our discussion now, as I said, Ruto is trying to distance himself from Jubilee government. Anything that Jubilee has failed to implement, Ruto wants to take responsibility for that. But the mix is that he still wants to take credit for the success that Jubilee government has made. And when the handshake came, I think this is what pushed William Samuel Ruto to the wall. And for that reason, he had to look for another way to survive. So, in other words, Handshake was a blessing in this guy's for William Samway Ruto. Because if there was no handshake, then it means Ruto could be at the center of the Jubilee government. And as we are speaking now, the failures in the Jubilee are just so much. For that reason, there is no Kenyan who could buy into anyone like William Samway Ruto who promised so many things, then they end up failing. So the strategy Ruto is trying to use here is try to bring the name of Raila Molodinga into Jubilee government and put all the failures that Jubilee has gone through to the name of Raila Molodinga. The question is, is it possible? <laughs> because number one here, Jubilee did not start failing now, not yesterday, right away from 2013. The looting started from 2013 coming this much far. So yes, to some extent, Raila Molodinga has been pushed 
to the world to try and explain some issues in Jubilee government. That's why you see when I enjoy Kuleza Mamba and Mafuta, Raila goes to an extent when he's in his rally is that to tell to tell the people that Watangale your mambo and soon he even promised that the price is going to go down. So to some extent, Raila might take responsibility because now he's in the handshake with President Uhuru Kenyatta. But again, most of these failures cannot be put on Raila Molo Dinga. Then number two, still Kenyans ask William Samuel Ruto, where is the stadium I promise? Many things were saying in six months' time. In six months' time, all those laptops and so many things that Jubilee government promised has not yet delivered. So, my question is, will William Samuel Ruto run away from the failures of Jubilee government? <laughs> I want you to tell me in the comment section if this is possible. And now, to make sure that Ruto himself is getting sympathy from Kenyans and anyone who would wish to support him, he is now coming out with an idea that Raila Molo Dinga is a deep state and a government project. Now, now, Lisa Wanda, when I interpolate very openly as we listen to the video, that are you ready to buy into the government project? We are mutual project. <laughs> you see, are you ready to buy into someone he is referring to as an outsider who has been brought in Jubilee Party as a party candidate? So that's what he's trying to tell the people outside there. But the way I listen to William Samuel Ruto and how he's approaching people in his coast region, I'm coming to believe that Ruto simply went to coast region to address the people of central region staying in coast region. In simple terms, Ruto alienda to, to meet Wakikuyu wale wako central region. Because the way he addressed and even he got to an extent of addressing these guys in Kikuyu dialect. It's like he's just talking to these guys when he's talking to the same guys in the central region. Akitaka kurifa to Raila Molo Dinga. He has used the same tactics. So it tells you that Ruto was definitely just going to address the people from central region who are residing in coast region. So he simply want to get sympathy from these guys from coast region. The question is, will, we to, will, will William Ruto become the next president as he continue to sell his candidate and then paint Raila Monodinga as a government project? Because we still understand here, despite the fact that Raila Monodinga has enjoyed massive support from Kenyans, he never became the president. And even it is still believed that 2007 and 2017 he won. But he never saw the presidents. So, the question is, now Ruto is outside here. He is still holding to the Kikuyu vote. Then he has his hometown, Kalenjin votes. The question is, now he is branding Raila as a, a state candidate. Then, what he is telling Kenyans is that now Raila has the deep state blessing how will he become the president in 2022 when he clearly understand that they won the presidency or they got sworn in in 2017 courtesy of the deep state how will he make it or is he proving or is he now in the other town giving up for the presidency then just campaign outside there just to take over the opposition side. That's my question. Because what we have gone through as Kenyans, we still now confirm and believe that it is very hard to clinch into power if you don't have the goodwill of the deep state. You might have the people, but again, you need to win the hearts of the deep state. So William Samuel Ruto seemingly he is an outsider from the deep state. And what he's suggesting tells that now Raila has been accepted by the deep state. That's the question. But the hardest thing is to make Raila Monodinga look like a project. Because for the longest time, Raila has sold his candidature and severally has won election. For that reason, to some extent, 
Raila has credibilities to be elected and Raila can still appeal to people to vote for him. And I'm still believing that if we can still have the NASA principles with him, <laughs> Leo Nimeona Pale Akita Mudavadi, I can pay some minutes on his behalf. So he donated some minutes to him. I don't know if this guy are still in terms, maybe in talking terms, Kama Watafana Kazi Pamoja. But if he will have this team, then I'm sure even William Samoy Ruto had enough people in the opposition side. I'm certain that it is going to be very hard for him. So Raila, in my own thinking, he still has some credibility. He still has some people on his side. But William Samoy Ruto, for the first time, is trying the presidency. And for the first time, he is even coming with a party that has never been tested or even tried. So we don't know how William Samuel Ruto will manage, sell his candidature and paint other guys as Deep State Project. So as I conclude, I can tell you that Ruto has finally confirmed that Raila Amolo Odinga is a preferred candidate for the Deep State. And again, if he's confirming this, and he is part of the beneficiaries of the deep state, courtesy 2013-2017. Then Ruto is confirming that there is high possibility Raila might be the next president in 2022. Because he simply understands what the deep state can do. Thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you. See you in our next video. But again, if you have reached this far and you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting? Consider subscribing and consider even recommending our videos to your friends. Con consider also re recommending this channel to your friends so that they can also subscribe. See you in our next video.